Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about loops in Groovy and this will be very easy. We will look at for loop, for in loop and while loop and in Groovy we also have some keywords that we can use to perform similar operations like loop. So we have keywords like up to, we have uh, times and step and these keywords we can use to perform similar operations like loop and this will be very interesting to know. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and this is our project that we created earlier. I am going to go to this package, do a right click, new and go to other, search for groovy and I will say groovy type. Next I will select class and I will name this as loops and finish. I will not take class here, I can directly start typing. So the very first loop we are going to study is for loop and uh, let me show you a very classic for loop that we also use in Java and we can use it directly in Groovy. So we have a syntax we say for and in brackets we first do initialization. So I will initialize a variable or integer variable to some value. So I am initializing i to 1 and then we give a semicolon um, and then let me go to preferences and I will go to general editors and text editors and colors and fonts and I will go to edit and let me increase the font size so that you can see this properly and yes so now you can see we start with initializing so I am saying i equals 1 then a semicolon and then we give some condition so I will say i is less than 5 so this is the condition and then again a semicolon and then we give the increment or decrement so I am incrementing it so on every iteration of this loop i will be incremented to 1 so I can give it anything here I can say i plus 1 but it is equivalent to i plus plus and then a curly bracket start and a curly bracket end and inside this block I can write my code so I am here saying print ln the value of i so here we will run this loop here we have initialized i equals 1 and it will go until i is less than 5 and on every iteration it will increment i so what will happen is it will come here make value of i equals 1 and then run the block and then check the condition so it will check the condition run the block if the condition is true and then increment then again it will check the condition and then again if the condition is true come into the block and then run it and again increment so if I run this I will do a right click run as groovy script so you can see it is printing 1 2 3 4 it is not printing 5 because we have said i is less than 5 so as soon as i becomes 5 it comes out of the loop if I say i less than equals to 5 and if I run this now it will print 1 2 5 and you can see it is printing 1 to 5 here okay and also uh, you can say def here like in groovy we can use def instead of giving a data type this should also work fine and this is working fine and in case you define uh, the variable separately for example if I say int i equals 1 at the top separately even this is fine now in this case I can just give i here instead of initializing it or declaring it I will just say this and I will run this again and this is working fine now this was a classic for loop that we can also use in Java and we can use it in Groovy as it is but in Groovy we can also use a for in so here we can just say for i in I will say 1 dot dot 5 so I am saying 1 to 5 so we have to run this loop from 1 to 5 and then I can print anything so I'm just printing i here and it is giving me an error because I have already defined i above so let me just say a here and that's it and I will run this and this should again print 1 to 5 and let me comment this out I will select everything and press ctrl and forward slash on my keyboard to comment this entire block so that I only get the output of this loop 
and you can see it is printing 1 to 5 so we can use a uh, for in as well and then there are some uh, keywords in groovy that we can use for example i can say 1 dot up to and i will say 5 and then in the block i can print anything and you can see this we can write everything in the single line as well so here i can say print ln and i want to um, write the or print the iteration of this loop on the console so we have this it which is for iteration so it will print the current iteration of the loop so i will comment this earlier section and i will run this and you can see it is printing 1 to 5 and as i said everything can be put in a single line so this was just for easy reading that you can put in multiple lines but even this is fine so if i run this now it is printing 1 to 5 now i can also say 5 dot times so this again is a keyword in groovy and i can again say print ln and i want to print the loop count or the iteration number so i will again say dollar it and if i run this so this will again print 0 to 4 so now this is uh, 5 times so it starts with 0 and then goes unto up to 4 so this we can also use here we can use the times um, keyword and then in case you want to increment uh, with some particular numbers i can say one dot step so step is again another keyword and here you can give the number up to which you want to step or go in the loop and then step number is your increment value so i will say two so it will step for or step by two numbers on every iteration so i will again say print ln i will say dollar it and i will comment the earlier part and now i will run this and here you can see it is iterating and it is incrementing by two so by two steps it is incrementing for one three five seven and nine and it will go up to ten so this is how you can use these keywords directly in groovy instead of loops and wherever you find that you can replace loops with these keywords it will be a good idea to use these keywords and here uh, if i go to the documentation i will go to groovy control structures and i will go to the official documentation of groovy which is this one and here you can see we have uh, control structures here and inside control structures we have conditional structures that we have learned in the earlier session which include if else, if else and switch case we have looping structures that we are studying now which has the loop uh, for loop classic for loop foreign and while loop and let me also copy this link and i will make this available in the references in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so here if i go back you can see here we have looping structures and there are some examples we have already seen the classic for loop and this is the foreign that we have seen and foreign you can use for uh, with different options like we can use it with a list so if i see here if i copy this and here in my code i will paste this so here you can see we can also use foreign with a list so here we are saying i in this list and then i can just print i or I will say print ln i and if I run this we can see here it is printing for every element in the list it is going there and printing it here so you can use it like this or we can also iterate over an array so for example we have an array 0 to 4 and I can iterate over an array using the for loop we can also iterate over a map so if I copy this and paste it here and i will comment the earlier section and here you can see we have a map so map is a key value pair map is a collection where we can put keys and values so for example abc1 or we can also 
say anything like uh, I will say name and this is the key and the value is groovy and then I can say subject and here I can say automation and so on so I can put multiple uh, key value pairs now here in for loop I can give any variable so I, here I am saying e in map so this is the map and I can just print e and if I run this now So you can see it is printing all the elements of the map. I can also say print e dot key and then I can say print ln e dot value. So if I run this now, it is printing all the keys and values and I will use print for the key so that it does not goes to the next line and we have key and value in the same line printed on the console and you can see name groovy and subject automation let me also add a separator a semicolon here so it is more readable i will again run this and you can see it is printing name groovy and subject automation so similarly you can iterate over maps and also characters in a string so this all examples you can see and now we have the while loop so i will comment this and we have the while loop and while loop is similar like we have in Java and even if you do not have uh, Java experience or knowledge do not worry I will tell you how to use a while loop so the syntax is while and we give some uh, condition so for example I take uh, integer i equals 1 and here I say the same thing like we have done earlier a condition I will say while i is less than 5 it will come inside the loop and I just want to print i and then I also I will increment i I can also say i equals i plus 1 this will also work fine so here what it will do is it will first check the condition i is less than 5 which will be true because i is 1 and 1 is less than 5 it, it, it is true it will come inside the loop and then execute this statement and then increment i so i will become 2 now again it will go and check the condition so 2 is less than 5 true again come here i becomes 3 3 less than 5 again prints i then finally when i becomes 5 it will check here uh, 5 is less than 5 is false and it will come out of the loop so if i run this now so you can see it is printing 1 to 4 and if i say i is less than or equals to 5 and run this this time it should print 1 to 5 and you can see it is printing 1 to 5 so this is how you can use a while loop and also you can see an example here and this is all about loops uh, and this is how you can use loops in Groovy so I hope this was very easy and very interesting I will meet you in the next session of Groovy thank you for watching